for proper clasp action the minimum amount of tooth encirclement should be 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees and 360 degrees so uh, this is a direct question but the reason i want to discuss it is because there are six factors that govern the retention of a clasp assembly now that is retention support stability reciprocation encirclement passivity these are the six factors actually that are required for a clasp assembly to function in a suitable way now retention is understood that the clasp assembly should be retentive it should not get dislodged it should let the denture sit in its place support is a tissue word thing which is provided by the rest so the vertical support is necessary stability is provided by the denture with the tissues and with the reciprocal arm the guide plane so it has to be stable it should not rock on the place Reciprocation means the forces that are given by the retentive arm on the tooth have to be counterbalanced by a reciprocal arm. Okay, that is the bracing arm. Encirclement means it should be covering the tooth adequately, and passivity means it should not put any active force on the tooth, which can cause detrimental problems. So the question here is on encirclement. Now the very simple way of understanding encirclement of a clasp is the example of hugging someone. so you have the retentive arm the rest and the reciprocal arm so imagine this is the head of a person and you want to hug a person over here so this is the retentive arm the reciprocal arm if you want to hug a person properly and not wanting to let them go you have to tighten your arms around them to a degree if you just leave it very shallow or very uh, uh, you know away from the person then you may not be able to retain the person very close to you so in the same way if the retainer is designed in such a way that this is the retentive arm and this is the reciprocal arm if you do not cover more than 180 degrees of encirclement then it will not be a retentive clasp assembly so you need to ensure that your arms go around the person more than 180 degrees to not let them go so that is exactly what a clasp assembly is going to do that is known as encirclement how much will you encircle the tooth to ensure adequate retention now uh, some people may have this doubt that this is okay understood this is an occlusally approaching circlet clasp so it can have enough retention because it is encircling the tooth by greater than 180 degrees so why not cover by 360 degrees okay so a ring clasp is an example of uh, a direct retainer that can cover the tooth by 360 degrees see we are talking about ideal requirements some may be plus here and some may be minus here so a ring clasp provides that kind of a reciprocal and a retentive arm they join together so that is having an a 160 degree encirclement on the other hand if you talk of rpi rpi class assembly is a famous class assembly used in distal extension cases you have a mesial rest a distal proximal plate and an i bar now here if you see the tooth is not encircled completely continuously it is a broken type of encirclement so if you actually check it is extending more than 180 degrees although the components are scattered throughout the surface the encirclement is 180 degrees so you will need a minimum of 180 degrees to make sure that the clasp sits on the tooth to provide retention of a partial denture so coming to the question the minimum amount of tooth encirclement required is 180 degrees that is option number 2